In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about these three inspired by fragrances from the Essence Vault that I picked up at a completely bargain basement price. I'll be also letting you know how these compare to the originals in terms of scent accuracy and performance, as well as how to get hold of three 100ml bottles like these for under £13 each. So to find out my thoughts on this brand and whether or not I'd recommend any of these, stay tuned to Mags Frags. Yes, hello again everybody and thank you very much for tuning in to this latest episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and today I'm going to be talking about these three inspired by fragrances from the Essence Vault. I've also had a, a couple of requests from subscribers to the channel asking me if I'd do a review on these, so here we go. Also, some of you who are, who are regulars to the channel will be aware that I'm meant to be doing a weekly perfume parlor haul video, but unfortunately I'm still waiting for an order to arrive that I placed over two weeks ago now. So I contacted them today uh, and they said it was due to the amount of uh, recent orders that they've had over the festive period. Uh, and as it stands, they're not accepting any more orders until they clear the backlog of, of orders that they've already got. But hopefully they'll arrive this week uh, so I can shoot my next uh, perfume parlor haul video trust this to happen when uh, i decide to do a weekly feature on them it seems like sometimes the fragrance gods are just working against me and every time i come up with a, a new idea something always gets in the way but hey ho we crack on and uh, we move forwards so back to today's topic and i spotted this deal uh, a few days ago on the essence vault website and it's any three 100 ml bottles of fragrance like these uh, for 49.99 which should normally retail at around about £75 but if you also use the code uh, thank you 30 you get a further 30% uh, discount which brings down the price to 37 96 for all three so like at under 13 quid a bottle for these 100 ml bottle size it's a bit of a no-brainer for this review I chose to buy three fragrances that I also currently own the originals of and that I'm also very familiar with in terms of scent DNA. So I have done side by side comparisons of all of these and given them a few full wearings out and about in the British cold weather. Uh, so I've got a fairly good idea now of how they compare with what they're supposed to be copying in terms of their similarity and the performance. The first one is a copy of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry and the Essence Vault code for this one is 444. The second is a copy of Dior Sauvage and the Essence Vault code on that one is 197. And last and but not least we have got a, a copy of Creed Viking and the Essence Vault code on that one is 283. Now you may have noticed the uh, different black and white uh, variations on the labelling. Uh, the difference is that the white labels are the parfum concentration, uh, but then there's the black label bottles which are the parfum intense versions. Uh, but when I've read up on these, it says that they don't necessarily last any longer or project any better, but they just do include uh, better quality ingredients which apparently produce more depth and sophistication. But I'll touch again on that one a little bit later on in the video. I also know that I'm going to get asked many times down in the comments section uh, which of the clone houses I prefer between the Essence Vault and the Perfume Parlour. So I will try to address this as I go in each section and I've created a little points chart just for a little bit of fun uh, that's broken down into six different categories and I'll be awarding a point uh, to who I feel come out on top of each category, starting with the presentation. Yeah, so these come in minimalistic, no frill style boxes, which I can't really make up my mind about, and I don't really particularly like or dislike them, to be honest. Uh, but these are a step up, though, from the standard perfume parlor fragrances, because you don't even get a box with these, and they just come wrapped in bubble wrap. But having said that, the Perfume Parlour Extract Sprays are levels above in terms of presentation. You do get a nice box with this and you get the wood cap and metallic finish and all that, but they do cost a little bit more. So um, what you get with these are a generic one size fits all type box and they use a biro on the top uh, to write the fragrance code on the top of the box there. And again, the colourway varies on whether you go for the Parfum or the Parfum Intense. 
The bottles, uh, again, are very simple and minimalistic, uh, with a bit of a Joe Malone uh, style branding thing going on on the front. And I actually think they look quite classy when you've got them lined up next to each other on a shelf. The label contains uh, the Essence Vault logo, we've got the fragrance code, and we've also got the size and concentration. The cap and the sprayer, they do feel a little bit on the on the budget side, uh, but no difference to what you'll get on the, some niche fragrances that cost 10 times more than these. So I can't really complain too much about that. But the uh, the perfume parlor atomizers do feel uh, a little bit better quality. Uh, so I'm gonna start by sitting on the fence uh, and award a point to the Essence Fault for including um, a box with their product. And I'm gonna award a point to the perfume parlor because the, these do have better atomizers uh, and, I, and I just think that if you if you went for the uh, the extract sprays you get be better quality all around with those ones Yes, yeah, so basing my thoughts solely on these particular three fragrances, I'd say that they are extremely similar to the originals. I'm talking 95% similar, and it's just little things like, this is just ever so slightly brighter in the opening than the real Dior Sauvage, with the bergamot standing out a touch more, and also maybe with the Ambroxan being dialed up a, a level, just because you, you get a little bit more of a, an aquatic accord, just for the first 10 minutes or so with this one. Whereas the Sauvage it just seems to settle down a little bit quicker uh, and it just it just seems ever so slightly smoother and less harsh but having said that these Essence Vault fragrances have a much more enjoyable opening uh, than most of the perfume parlor clones that I've tested uh, and I think the first 20 minutes or so is always where you can tell the biggest difference between most clones compared to the originals they never quite managed to nail the opening and this is maybe because they don't have to have to make Maybe wow a customer that stood at a fragrance counter for the initial spray uh, but for whatever reason the openings are always a little bit harsh and screechy on clones but again uh, this is me just being very, very just, I'm testing them side by side I'm being ultra critical with them uh, so anyone smelling any of these coming off you when you're just out and about in the street they're never going to know that you're wearing a dupe especially uh, in the heart of the fragrance when it's uh, fully dried down in terms of these other two, I'd be lying if I, could, if I said I could tell any difference between them and the originals, and I'd describe them as pretty much one-to-one -one copies. So when I was testing these, I made a point of asking a few family members and friends who aren't really into fragrances to smell them side by side like off my hands, and just tell me what they thought uh, were the fake and which they thought was the real fragrance. But most guessed correctly actually with the uh, Sauvage copy and picked the original over the Essence Vault. Um, everyone said that they smelt very similar, uh, but the, the, there was just something that was a little bit more pleasant in the original. However, it was a completely different story with the Viking and the Lost Cherry clones, with the majority of the ex uh, exact same people choosing the clones over the originals, saying that um, they couldn't tell a difference in terms of how they smell, but the clones, these clones were just like, like projecting a bit more and coming off the skin so they thought that they were stronger and therefore the originals. So in terms of scent quality I think these smell as good as the originals and probably a touch more high quality than the perfume parlor so the Essence Vault gets the point in this category. The performance on these are really good and I've been really impressed with these so far. Um, you're going to get a good 8 hours of uh, longevity out of these with no problem. The Creed Viking copy projects like a total monster and lasts on skin uh, longer than the original and I could still pick, uh, pick up wafts of this um, maybe a good hour or two after the Creed had all but faded. The Lost Cherry Dupe uh, well outperforms the uh, the original by quite a way. And finally, the, the Sauvage, even though it's uh, one of the more expensive black label Parfum Intense range, it doesn't quite match the original Sauvage in terms of longevity. And I got uh, an extra maybe an hour or two out of the Dior. Uh, but the projection, I would say, is at about on a par. It's really dif uh, difficult for me to say whether the Essence Vault performed better or worse than the Perfume Parlor clones because 
Uh, some perfume parlor fragrances last for absolutely ages and they project really well and some are not so good and secondly um, these are the only three that I've tested uh, from this uh, from this brand so far um, so I might have just got lucky with these three so I'd probably need to try a few more first before I could form uh, a better opinion as to which I prefer so just for this category I'm going to again sit on the fence and award a point each uh, both to the essence fall and to the perfume parlor So as I mentioned earlier, I uh, picked up these three bottles uh, with an amazing discount code. Um, but without that discount applied, they do cost a little bit more than what you'd pay for at the perfume parlor. Take for instance, a standard uh, parfum fragrance in a 30 ml bottle size like this one. It cost you 14.95 at the Essence Vault, regardless of which fragrance you went for. Uh, but if you went for the, uh, the black label intense ones, uh, they come out at 1995 whereas at the perfume parlor the maximum you'd pay for a, a like a standard 30 ml bottle size is 14 pounds and you can even find some for around about the nine pounds mark uh, but then the extract sprays uh, which in my opinion are better quality uh, than any of these um, they're only 17 pound each uh, so at full price i'd say the perfume parlor gets the point in this category uh, but you can't go wrong with these when there's a, a discount code to be had. Yeah, so in terms of choice, um, there's probably about five pages on the Essence Vault website for the men's dupes. So as a rough guess, I'd probably estimate that there's around 50 different fragrances to choose from. And these are mainly your more popular niche fragrances such as Creed Aventus, Baccarat Rouge, 540, and uh, Tom Ford's Private Blend, etc. Uh, but this is where I think the perfume parlor wins a very easy point. They win hands down in terms of uh, the, the choice and the selection because uh, they do offer a much more extensive range and they produce uh, copies of your less hyped and uh, much harder to find fragrances so yeah in terms of choice the uh, the perfume parlor gets the point in this one Yeah, both the Essence Vault and the Perfume Parlor offer free UK delivery when you spend over a certain amount. I think it's uh, £40, I believe. And both offer a next day delivery service, which you might have to pay a small fee for. And both offer worldwide shipping. However, this Essence, this Essence Vault order that I placed uh, was dispatched within 24 hours and it arrived 48 hours after I first placed my order. My perfume parlor orders usually take three or four days to arrive, um, but my last order has taken nearly over two weeks to arrive. But to be fair, it is Christmas and it's the first time it's happened. But nevertheless, I have to give uh, award this point to the Essence Vault for the delivery service so judging by my uh, my very terrible maths I make that a 4-4 draw in my little bit of fun between the, uh, the perfume parlor and the essence vault yeah, so in summary, I think the Essence Vault produce a really decent quality product that are very accurate to the originals and also perform very well they do cost a touch more than the perfume parlor when they aren't on offer and there's also less to choose from but overall i'm really impressed with them and i'd highly recommend them if you're you're looking for some high quality dupes they don't seem to have uh, as much as an off-putting opening and uh, seem to behave more like a fragrance from the high street right from the like the initial first spray rather than having a, a harsh blast of alcohol like you find in lots of other um, clone fragrances i'll be definitely buying a few more of these to try out in the very near future and i'll keep you posted with how i get along with them as well as uh, any future deals and speaking of which i'm gonna start using my community section of the channel much more um, and if i stumble across any really interesting deals or discount codes i'll post the links in there so that you can take full advantage of them and grab yourself some bargains uh, and it's also somewhere where you can let me know too and kind of save me some cash and stop me from having to look around everywhere so if you if you see any nice fragrance deals just pop it in my community section of my uh, of my channel 
So once again, that's about it for today's episode. Um, I will be doing another perfume parlor haul video um, very, very soon. I may be doing two before Christmas and maybe another um, 365, uh, 365 project video this week. And then I won't be posting again until probably early in the new year. So I hope you all have a, a wonderful Christmas and I hope Santa brings you lots of expensive fragrances to wear. Um, so as always, stay safe, keep smelling fresh and I'll see you very soon for another one. Bye-bye for now.